Hello everybody and welcome back to the semi-crafty vlog. All right, so it is now November. Um, I just got done from taking a couple days off, almost turned into a week, but not quite. Uh, as usual, check the description below for uh, timestamps for this video if you'd like to skip ahead. Otherwise, let's get started. All right, so I announced in the last uh, vlog that in the month of November, I was going to focus on doing food stuff, um, specifically crock pot. Uh, themed meals. So for my first one I decided to look into uh, mac and cheese in the crock pot. So I finally found a recipe that had pretty simple ingredients and it was pretty easy and here's me making. Alright, so like I said in the last vlog, I wanted to do cooking this month and I've decided that I'm gonna do crock pot stuff because I've, I've only ever made one thing in a crock pot which was apple cobbler, turned out amazing. So I was like, you know what, I want to try doing like crock pot meals. So the first thing we are going to make this month is macaroni and cheese because that is one of my favorite things ever. So the recipe, I think it's from a site called Cookies and Cups, but it's just no boil slow cooker mac and cheese. So we've got all of our ingredients here. So we have milk, evaporated milk, kosher salt, I think this is kosher salt, it's salt. Pepper, although this isn't probably fresh ground, but it's pepper. We got paprika, this one says smoked. I wasn't really sure where to find that, but I think regular should be okay, hopefully. A big old box of elbow macaroni, thing of butter, Velveeta, sharp cheddar, and Monterey Jack. Okay, I gotta get a bowl. So the first step is to whisk milk, evaporated milk, salt, pepper, and paprika into one bowl. Two. I don't know if it's a big enough bowl. And I have... You need a can opener. This whole can, basically. I don't think I've ever used evaporated milk, ever, when I've cooked before. I, I just, I've never needed to. It smells like powder. Ugh. One teaspoon of salt. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, we got salt. So professional over here. Oh! Sorry. Professional. Yeah. So half teaspoon of pepper. Yes, I realized it was a way better way to do this. And half teaspoon of Okay. And we whisk. And whisk. Zoom in on that. Yeah. Slow mo. So yeah, the thing with this was I had to look for a recipe that didn't have garlic onion, like powders or oils or eggs. I had to look for all sorts that didn't have that um, for dietary reasons. So I found this one that didn't have any of those. Pour the uncooked macaroni into your five quart slow cooker. So we pour the macaroni in this. Oh, I love these elbows. They're so good. Sorry. There are people asleep and I just Bad. Okay, so the butter needs to be cubed. This probably isn't the best knife, but it's what we got. And yes, I washed my hands, of course. Well, that wasn't really a cube, it was kind of more of a rectangle. We got butter cubes. Alright, so we'll put these in here. Four ounces of Velveeta cubed. How do I know what four ounces of Velveeta is? This is. I couldn't get anything smaller, it's like 32 ounces. Oh, good, it shows me. Oh, nice, it shows you where the four ounce markers are. It doesn't look super accurate, but can I just like cut the package? This doesn't work. Eh. Probably not. It's probably gonna get. Oh, not to work. Well, it's crooked. <laughs> I've got a Velveeta cube. Oh, that's weird. That is a weird feel for a cheese. Oh, God, it's weird. It's like if cheese were jello. Or like, you're not jello, but like a. It smells good. Alright, Velveeta. The vegetable is great. <laughs> Now we have the cheese that we must grate. Great. Eight ounces of sharp cheddar, which I think is this whole block. Okay. Jesus. I think it's good. Remember guys, please be careful if you're using a cheese grater because it can cut your hand up a lot. Cheesy. The recipe specifically said don't get, don't buy pre-grated cheese because it was like, I guess it has like a coating on it. This is the greatest footage in the world. All right, I think we're good. <laughs> with this one. All right, now the Monterey Jack is only four ounces, so we can cut this in half. Monterey Jack. Well, it's cool. I'd love one day to try a mac and cheese that had uh, pep pepper jack. I think that'd be kind of fun. Well, if this works out, I could always try to substitute it just to see. Almost there. Don't scrape my fingies. Okay. Pour the milk mixture on top and stir to combine. The milk mixture. Sorry if you can't see it. 
all the paprikas at the bottom. Oh man. Stir to combine. Just completely all of it stir. Okay. It sounds cool. Do your best to press all the macaroni into the milk mixture. It won't be completely covered. This is okay. Push it. Push all the macaroni. I think that is the best we're gonna get it. Cover your slow cooker and cook on low for two to three hours during once after one hour. Back and cheese will be done when all the liquid is absorbed and the pasta is cooked. All right, so we got the slow cooker. We wanna cook it on low and check it after one and a half hours. So we've got the pasta cooking in the slow cooker. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go work on cleaning. I was supposed to be doing a bunch of cleaning this last week and I didn't get it done, so I'm doing it now. We will come check on this eventually. So it's been an hour and a half. I am going to open it and give it a stir. All right. Okay. It's weird because it smells like sweet almost. I don't know if that's the evaporated milk or what, but go oh well. I think this is what it wants me to do. I hope. It looks good. I know it's not done. Ooh. Creamy. It smells really good though. I am excited. The cheese is stuck oh, to the wall. Okay. So I'm gonna check on it every half hour now. I think it's until the liquid goes away, but I'm not sure. We'll come back later. All right, so I, I let it sit for a little while and I think you've got a good consistency. So I'm gonna put some in a bowl and give it a taste. All right, so we've got our little bowl here. So I'm gonna give it a nice little try. Oh boy, it's not too hot. Oh. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's really good. I like how, um, so the noodles are soft, but they've got like a, a nice texture to them, like a solid texture almost, but it's hard to explain. Mmm, those are really good. It's a little sweet, it's really weird. But like, not enough for it to be like, off-putting. I've been waiting for this to be done, I'm so, I was so hungry, I'm like, oh, when? <laughs> A little bit grainy, but I can't figure out what that's from. But again, not enough to set it off. All right, so I'm gonna finish up this bowl, pack the rest away, and put it in the freezer. I will enjoy. All right, so that was actually, I made that last night, but uh, it turned out really good. I enjoyed a bowl before I went to bed. I was like way past my bedtime last night, so I'm finally kind of on a good sleep schedule now, which is great. I've been waking up, I mean, not consistently, but I, I like started this week off getting up at like 6 a.m. and then been getting a little bit further and further, but like today I woke up at like, what, eight? I don't know, it's, it's, which is fine, it's totally cool. So yes, I took several days off, which was actually very well needed. I'll probably talk more about that later. I actually wanna kind of jump into doing stuff first so that we can leave the talking bit to the end. All right, so like I said in the last video, um, we so we, we painted Bayonetta's clock back there, you can see. Bayonetta's clock. Also, uh, you may notice that the painting in the background has fallen. Um, that happened when I was taking down Halloween decorations. I actually knocked the painting over. It didn't like break it or anything. It just slid down and I was just like, oh shoot, so I gotta fix that. And I've got my November, it's a bunch of plushies that are like, kind of like woodland themed and turkeys and stuff. So there you go. December, obviously I'll be doing all sorts of like holiday things, but. So today our painting is going to be, um, we're going to do the other half of the Oracle of Seasons. We're gonna now do Oracle of Ages today, which should be pretty simple. I went to Michael's and I completely forgot what I bought. So I got little holiday trees. So I bought um, these, which are like split rings, I guess. So this with this should be, that might be a bit big. I think it's about the same. But basically with one of these, I can go ahead and hopefully just, you know, put this on the ring like that. There we go. Actually, it would be more like this, because it would hold it like that. And then we attach that to here, and there you go. So now, the thing is, I needed to get more of these, but I realized that, because I was like, well, I'll just put I'll just put the key rings onto the medallions now, and, you know, worry about this later. But I realized that if I glue this split ring down, I can no longer use the split function of it. So, so I got a bunch of these coming, and they are two inches. So. I also went ahead and purchased belt buckles that are circular. They are silver, so I'm hoping I can like kind of fake it, but we're gonna be putting shrink art moons over them, so hopefully that doesn't really affect it too much. The buckles I measured, because there were two different sizes. There was three centimeter and four centimeter diameter. So I got the four. I hope that that's not too big or too small, because I still don't know how big the belts are. I have to go get some. I need to go to the dollar store. All right, I also bought ornaments. Uh, there's, uh, they were all like on sale. Kind of fun. And these are just, they're just so pretty. Like, look at these. 
Super cool. Plain white one. I wish they had like a, like a clear rainbow one, but they only had them like flat, but I want like a big round one. So I'll probably be hanging these up on like a garland or something uh, in, our, in December. The blue one. So yeah, so today might be a little more laid back just because I thought I was gonna be able to work on the medallions again spaced out once more. Hopefully next week we will be able to get back to them actually, because I'm sorry. Uh, I was thinking though of doing some more book stuff. Um, like you guys saw with the journal thing. Uh, I still haven't finished filling out, like, let's see here. I did more, like, painting on this. I don't know if I showed, I don't think I showed this. But, like, just, you know, fun little, <laughs> for the pages. Just, like, a weird divider. <clears throat> yeah, that's the last one I did, was, like, rain, I think, and then space. Yeah, and then I got these last two pages to fill in. And then make another one, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be filling this one out. And then, yeah. Because I've actually started logging my dreams again, and... Oh boy, have I been de detailed. Because, like, back in high school, I, I just wrote, like, words. I was like, you know, like, let me see if I can find an example. Like, okay, like, just school. It's just like, like, okay, so what school was I at? You know, kind of thing, because it's not specified. And then, like, cloaks. Uh, what? You know, like, like, just weird stuff like that. Or, like, like, some of them were detailed, and then some of them were just, like, you know, ship or something. Or, like, car. And I'm like, what does this mean? <laughs> So, uh, in my more recent ones, I've been, like, not, like, super descriptive, but I've tried to be as detailed as I can so that when I read it back, I'm like, oh, yeah, you know. Because some of these old ones, I can remember what I what happened, like, how it looked and everything. But some of them, I'm like, what? <laughs> like, what was this dream? I have no clue. So, yeah, I've been trying to be very detailed. And the problem, though, is the other, the other times, like, if I don't write it down as soon as I wake up, I'm just gonna forget. Because, like, sometimes my dreams get really detailed, and I'm like, wait, there were so many things going on, and I remembered them as soon as I woke up. And then, like, maybe an hour later had already forgotten 75% of what had happened. And that happened the other day with one, I think it was, like, there was, like, Breaking Bad stuff going on, and was, I don't remember. There was, like, a warehouse and, like, stuff, and I forgot all of it. <laughs> Just, like, that's the only part I remember is Breaking Bad and warehouses. So I've been trying to write them down, and I, I think I wrote down last night's, but it was, last night's was, like, I remember one chunk in the middle, and I don't remember what, like, it, as, as soon as I woke up, I didn't remember the beginning or how it ended or how I woke up kind of thing so but then like the day before that was like just a wall of text on word and I'm just like oh this happened so now this one this larger I was thinking of doing for like an actual journal I know I didn't start it this year but I'll pipe oh that's lovely okay uh, sorry so um I know I didn't start this at the beginning of the year but what I'm going to do with this and I don't think I talked about this but like I'm gonna make it it's gonna be tall so I'm gonna stitch like along here hopefully that works out and then do like lines across, do the painting thing as usual, but I'm going to basically take, okay, so back when I started this channel, I was doing something called happy notes, which anytime something good happened, I would write down what it was on a note. And I did that for like maybe two years, maybe three. I don't remember. I know I did a vlog about it once and was like, okay. I tried to do a second vlog and I was like, I was just not feeling it. <laughs> so then I skipped two years of writing anything down. And then in 2018, I think I saw, or maybe it was early 2019, I don't remember. Someone does a thing where they have like a like a little chart of each day of the year and they put in a color like red or blue or whatever, something like that, um, to say like the day was good, the day was bad or whatever. So I actually did a variation of that on Excel and I'll put in a color for like, was it a good day? Was it a memorable day? What is it, was it a boring day kind of thing? But what I also do is uh, I'll put like a comment because you can do that in Excel and I'll write down like kind of like what was like what about that day made it like, you know, whatever. Although usually on bad days, I'll still try to write like you know, here was something good that happened, you know, just to be like a little positive, but it's like a mini journal. So what I'm going to do is take all those happy notes and take all of the comments from like the past two years. Well, I'll include this year because I've only done it for 2019 and this year. So I'll take all those and write them all down in a book. And then in 2021, start a new journal. That way I can be like, here's just up till now, you know, kind of thing. And then I'll just have my other old journals that are like part half filled or whatever. All right, I guess we'll get started on painting.
So we have finished the Oracle of Ages painting. It's a little weird because uh, the the trio of symbols are kind of like skewed. Let me. Okay, I forgot to like talk about what I was gonna do, but it's basically the same thing as the other one. The symbols look like that. Basically, is what I was working on, and it's like it's very similar to the you know the other the seasons one, but like slightly different different symbols. The symbols also is interesting. They're not so like seasons. It was like colors with white, but for ages it was like a lighter color and a darker color, so that was interesting. And then the the Harp of Ages, which is this little thing right here. Yeah, that was a little tricky to, to paint. Compared to the Rod of Seasons, it was like, okay. So yeah, so we ended up with this. The uh, symbols turned out a little funky. I wish that this one had not been so, like, it's also kind of hard to see. Maybe it's just the viewfinder, I don't know. But yeah, but uh, yeah, the harp doesn't really look like a harp, but I mean, again, I was just going by the, because that's what we did for the Rod of Seasons was the pixelation. But it gets the point across, I think. Not that I don't think anyone's gonna recognize it unless they're like a diehard Oracle of Ages fan, but. So this is just something I wanted to do. Simple. It actually took me a long time to do though because of the layering, but it's all good. So I have gone and printed lines for the paper. And there's like, t I think there's 10 sheets. They all, they've all got lines. And they have little spots where I'm gonna probably stitch uh, on the, this margin here. It might have been too far in. Well, we'll see. We're gonna see how it turns out. I don't really know. Uh, I am eating some mac and cheese leftovers. This isn't, it's not fresh, but I'm gonna actually see how the leftovers work. No, oh, it's still good. So, um, I wanted to save the talking portion for the latter half of the video because I know that could get kind of boring. Halloween, obviously I, I got my video out a little bit later than I wanted to, but stuff happened. And I didn't end up posting a Subnautica like I was going to because it just didn't, I didn't, I think I mentioned that in the video. Uh, it just didn't really seem like it needed to be posted until later. I'm going to be taking a break from Minecraft and Morrowind, I believe I said, just for like a month, not not like for a while. And I'm gonna focus more on games like Sly Cooper, Sly 3 specifically, Saints Row 2, Subnautica, and maybe a couple others, I don't really know. I don't know if I mentioned this. In Mario Maker 2, they have the world option where you can make worlds and add levels to them, and I am working on one of those. I've actually finished the levels for the first world, and I might, because I don't really know how it works, how you upload them, but like, I might film myself working on those, and just like, just for fun, just to be like, alright guys, world one's up if you want to play it, or I don't know if that's how it works, but I know um, Ross has been doing that with the world he's creating, and good lord, I hope the Game Grumps play it, but meanwhile, I've been also panicking because Unus Honest is coming to an end, and it's a channel I've been watching all year, so been handling that. That's that's added a layer of anxiety I did not need right now. It's just like, God, you know, like, we all knew it was gonna end, but like, just the anticipation of it happening. That's like, oh god, I hope I don't like miss one, or because they're gonna live stream the ending, I don't want to miss that, you know, kind of stuff like that. And then like, trying to get like, last minute merch and stuff, and they did a, a resurrection sale of all their merch, and uh, all of the fans crashed the site, so they had to like, fix that and figure it out. So that's, that's been kind of like, one thing on my mind. I've been trying to just like, binge the, the, the series as much as possible before it's gone, because it will be gone once it's done. But it's kind of cool watching them like, go through all the like, you know, like, they've been doing like, kind of like, call, like throwbacks to the episodes and stuff like that. It's kind of fun. So on Halloween night, we sat in our driveway, you know, just for fun. And I actually had my, my ring light facing out the window and it was glowing green. And it was actually cool because you could see the, the lights through the window. And my mom was like, it looks like a, like a monster's eyes or something. I'm like, hey, that's kind of a cool little thing to do for, um, for Halloween, you know, in the future. But hopefully everything is normal next year, but we're like, we're gonna, we're gonna have like a party. We're gonna go all out. I stopped having parties personally just because it's just exhausting hosting a party. And we went all out with decorating even though, you know, things weren't really going normal, but we're probably gonna go all out decorating for Christmas as well. <laughs> I mean, we usually do, but like, and our neighbors do too, so it's really awesome. So like, we have like a really cool, like little setup, but I am kind of glad I took these couple days off just because this time of year is kind of like important for my family because um, we, we lost a very close family member like over a decade ago. It was the day after Halloween. So like, usually we actually go on a little drive out to the mountains um, on that day. We didn't do it on that day, but we, did it like a few days ago. You know, didn't see anyone. We just went out, hung out in the mountains. Um, so it's like, it's kind of like a, you know, personal little day kind of thing. And I think in the future, I am gonna take those days off regardless. I just need those days to kind of de-stress from, first of all, cause October is so stressful cause of Halloween, just de-stressing from all that, trying to like do stuff. And then, you know, like family stuff too. So there's that. Oh, so there hasn't been a snack crate video in a little bit. I know that I, I was like, oh, I might get my snack crate before October's out because of the way I ordered. But apparently my box got stuck in customs. 
so it's late. So as soon as it gets here, I will be filming that video. And I guess it, that, that occasionally happens just because it is from, like, it's snacks from other countries, so, you know, stuff happens. I don't know what country it's gonna be, so that'll be interesting. Getting back to filming was kind of sluggish, that's why it took me a little while to get back to it. Also because I've been dealing with my computer, for whatever reason, the past couple days, has been constantly disconnecting from the internet. I think it's a Windows 10 problem, because that happens to my computers occasionally, but the weird thing is, is all the other devices were still connected to the internet, even my laptop, which is also Windows 10, but my desktop was just like connect disconnecting constantly. I've reset the network so many times and restarted the computer and all, and all that, and it just keeps doing it. I don't know if it's like, cause sometimes I notice it does that right before Windows is about to update. I don't know if Windows has an update scheduled, but I wish it would just happen already so my computer would just stay connected to the internet. Thankfully, I was able to stay connected yesterday and get a video uploaded. I have to still post it, but the plan is to get back to filming this week because I gotta start getting stuff ready for, you know, a regular schedule again. Also, the day we went to the mountains, I made the mistake of not bringing sunglasses because I could, si since the whole lockdown thing has happened, I have like misplaced every pair of sunglasses I own. So I didn't know where any of my sunglasses were and I'm like, whatever, I don't really need them. But then, it was a really bright sunny day out and when I when we got home around because we left around nine we got home around like one in the, in the afternoon and I was like I can feel a headache is coming on and then when I got into the house it was just pounding and I'm like I I have to go lay down and I was in bed till the next morning so it's great it was sweet though because my cat Zoe um totally snuggled with me the whole time which I thought was really sweet that was the day I was gonna get back to I was gonna edit the Subnautica I had filmed and I just couldn't I was like I'm I'm stuck I'm stuck in bed and that's also why so this vlog I'm actually going to be posting it on Sunday uh because I figured I have a game tomorrow and I'm not gonna be able to get this edited probably by then but like I'm kind of trying to like I said take it easy so this is gonna get posted on Sunday just because of that but it's like whatever I'm still gonna get it posted you know kind of thing I'm just I'm just so glad that the Halloween episode got posted on Halloween because I was like that was the point hopefully you guys enjoyed pumpkin carving I know that was kind of probably a silly surprise but it's not something I usually do it's not something I usually do with enthusiasm at least not in the past few years. Different when I was a kid. I, I do think next year though, I want to get more craft foam pumpkins and make like pumpkins that'll like last, you know, because I made a really cool Black Widow. I made a really cool like star, uh, moon with stars kind of pumpkin. I made Among Us pumpkin, you know. It sucks because those pumpkins they brought, you know, because they're pumpkins. But like if it was a craft foam pumpkin, you could reuse it for many years. Like I still have my Five Nights at Freddy's pumpkins that I made in what, 2015? 2015 or 2016, I don't remember. I still have them. Actually, we didn't use them the past couple years because they were up in the garage and no one wanted to get them down. I'm just like, really? I worked so hard on those. and just... We had them out this year for fun. I actually have Springtrap in my room because he was my favorite. But like, something like that. Not necessarily, not Five Nights at Freddy's pumpkins, but like, just to make pumpkins that'll like, that we can reuse, you know, and be really cool. Then I'd, I'd probably make like, stars and moons and stuff and then uh, spiders. So for next week's vlog, I'm trying to think of what I want to do as far as Food. It's obviously gonna be a crock pot thing. Alright, so we painted, we cooked mac and cheese. Um, I might work on this journal. Man, I want more mac and cheese, but I'm trying to like savor it, you know? <laughs> I got I got ten little things that well nine now, but you know, I wanna savor them. They're good. So yeah, I'll look around for some items. Is it, uh, or for some food ideas. Yeah, the only problem is finding crock pot dishes that um I can make that don't affect my intestines and stuff, so I gotta be really careful about ingredients and what I make. Alright, I'm probably gonna mess around with doing some other things here and then I'll see what happens.
All right, guys, so I've done, you know, ooh, that's not dry yet. I've just done some fun little, like, painting stuff in my, what is going to be a journal. The only thing is I gotta find the things I was going to write for uh, them. I like that this one's really cool. I'm excited for this. So I got like cool little like things and stuff. And we finished off the small booklet. Once I fill it up, new booklet. What I have to do with this one is I have to look through, because I, I finished writing down all of my high school stuff. I have to look for two journals that I wrote in and see if I wrote any dreams in those and then put the ones that I've been logging from this year and then once the year's over, new book. This is assuming I keep all this up. But for now I think I'm done with this vlog for today because I'm getting tired and I want to go hang out in my room and I don't know, relax, do stuff. I will figure out what crockpot meal we will do for next week. I'm excited because this week's turned out pretty good, so hopefully the rest of the month does too. Hopefully we will have everything we need next weekend for doing Bayonetta stuff, like belt buckles and more of these. I don't know if I'll do a painting next week, maybe I'll do some drawing, because I, I do I do want to keep drawing, I just don't want to do it like it was kind of like bogging down the whole process. Yeah, I'm gonna go relax and um, keep marathoning Una's Honest until I can't anymore. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure to check the description below for information, for links, for all sorts of things. And then check the links at the end of the video for other stuff I've done. I am getting back into doing video games and I've got unboxings and I've got this vlog for you guys. Um, obviously, like, uh, there's cosplay stuff too and everything I do on these vlogs that's cosplay related will be put into like a finished video eventually once I finish the thing. So like with the medallions, once I get those completely done, I'll probably make a video dedicated to specifically that so that people don't have to sift through all of these to be like, where was all the, you know. Looking forward to more food stuff this month. So I will see you guys in the next video, and until then, stay whimsical. That big sandwich with avocado on it. Part of the tree. Huh? Our tree. That was the last one. And it still wasn't quite right in the it's middle so there. Right now I think there's a million of them on there. I'm so sorry if this is wrong.